2022 New York Yankee Baseball as today, the 1927-2002 Ultimate Universe League continues as the 1927 Yankees take on the 2002 Yankee schedule one day at a time. As this is going to be a Tuesday right now, a Tuesday second game of the series against the Oakland Athletics, the Moneyball A's, led by Billy Bean. We're going to be using the dice roller as you see in front of you, cards and dice. The lineups are on the screen. For the Yankees, this game is in Oakland. Earl Combs will lead off in center, followed by Mark Koenig at short, Babe Ruth in right, Lou Gehrig at first, Bob Muso in left, Tony Lazzari at second, Joe Dugan at third, Pat Collins gets to start behind the plate, and again, Cedric Durst is your DH in batting ninth. For the home A's, they are 10-10 on the year, 0-1 versus the Yankees this year. Jason, uh, Jeremy Giambi gets a start in left, followed by Frank Minichino at second. Scotty Hanneberg at DH. David Justice in right, Eric Chavez at third, Miguel Dejada at short, Terrence Long in center, Ramon Hernandez is your catcher, and Carlos Pena is at first. So here they go. For the A's defensively, again, it'll be Giambi, Long, and then Justice. They're all fours and left, so not good. Around the infield, good left side of the field. Chavez and Tejada, both are ones. Then Menachino at second, and at first is going to be Pena. On the plate is Hernandez, and on the mound is Eric Hilgis. Not one of the A's best pitchers. He is three and three on the 2002 season, 6.50 ERA, nine starts, 52 hits, and 46 innings. He can be hit. The card is quite hittable on there, but again, anything can happen. Again, these are as-played lineups. Yankees use the lineups per game of the year, and for and they match up with the 2002 Yankee game of the year. So on the mound for the Yankees will be Wade Hoyt, and on the mound for the A's is Eric Hilgis. So we'll see how the A's do in this one. Again, the, that matchup favors the Yankees, as we'll get to baseball right here on the Sports Time Machine. Here we go. Earl Combs the lead off. Combs on the year, 37 of 99 at-bats. Five doubles, triples, two homers, and 10 RBIs, hitting 374. He is really clicking as a leadoff hitter on this team. Lefty-righty matchup. Here is the pitch from Hilgis. And the game is underway. 170 against a righty. That's a double one to nine. That's a one on the split. And that's a leadoff double for Earl Combs. So Earl Combs leads it off with a double. He's on board. And the Yankees have a runner on second with nobody out. Here is Mark Koenig, the shortstop, hitting 245. 98 at bats, has five doubles, a triple, a home run, 10 RBI. Switch hitter will bat lefty against Hilgis. Runner on second, nobody out. Hilgis working from the stretch. Here's the pitch as we wait for the pitch. It looks like it's going to be a 2 7 versus. Let's re roll that. I didn't like the way it rolled. Although that would have been a hit for Koenig. Let's re roll this again. Hang on one second. I'm not liking. The way that is rolling here. Not sure why I don't like it. Just I like to see it roll more effectively. There we go. That's a little better. 411. And that is going to be a single ballpark. So Koenig is the 411 lefty. Oh, Koenig against a righty is a W. But he will not be powered up versus a, versus a righty. So it's going to be a fly ball right field. Oh my, Hill just, just barely gave up a long ball. Boy, that was gone if Koenig was power versus a righty. So here it is, Babe Ruth, one away. Ruth now the batter. He had a home run the first game of the series. Had a big home run off Ricardo Ricone. He's 22 of 73. 29 walks. He has two doubles, a triple, nine home runs, 16 runs batted in. He's hitting 301. Left handed power slugger versus right hander. Helgis from the stretch. Here's the pitch. 
That's a two, that's an eight, the root, that's a triple, one to six, that's a seven, that's a down the line double that will score Comb from first, and the Yankees have a one nothing lead. So Ruth, a one to six triple, gets the seven, so he gets the double against a lefty, that ball is gone. So Ruth hits his power Comb, and the Yankees take a quick one nothing lead. And now here is the first baseman, Lou Gehrig, hitting 349. He is third. He has nine doubles, a triple, 12 home runs, 36 runs batted in, hitting a robust 349. He'll get us from the stretch, and here's the pitch. Good roll, 210, the fly ball, shallow center. That will be Terrence Long, makes the catch, and there is two outs. So now here is the left fielder, Bob Muzon. He's coming off one of the best games of a New York Yankee career. I believe he had four or five hits in the last one. Average now up to 375. 33 for 88. Five doubles, three triples, a home run. And has 14 runs batted in. Right-handed hitter, run around second and two outs. He'll just from the stretch and here's the pitch. That's going to be a 1 8, and that's a line drive to deep left field. That's off the top of the wall. RBI double for Bob Muzo. Home run won the 5. It's a 9. That will be a double for Muzo, and the Yankees lead 2 to nothing. So Ruth scores scorching doubles by the Yankees in this inning. That's their third double of the inning. All of them hit hard, and here's Tony Lazari. Hitting 264, two doubles, a triple, three homers, 17 runs batted in. Hilgis working for the stretch, runner on second, two outs, and here is the pitch to Lazari. Three, four, five ball, center field. That should be Terrence Long, makes the catch, and the Yankees are out in the first. Two runs, three hits, one left. We played one here in Oakland. It's two nothing Yanks. Remember, ballpark singles here to a lefties, 1 to 7. Righties, it's a 1. Home runs are a 1 to 11. Lefties and righties. So here we go. And now here will be Jeremy Giambi's turn against Wade Hoy. So here we go. Ja Wade Hoy, Yankees again, Yankees defensively. It's going to be Gehrig, Lazari, Koenig, and Dugan. And then it's Musel, Combs, and Ruth. Behind the plate is Collins. Wade Hoyt's on the mound. Hoyt has been in 45 innings, only given up six earned runs, 20 hits, three, six walks, 23 strikeouts. He's 4-1, coming off a save in yesterday's game, and he has an ERA of 1.20, opponent's average of only 130. So he has been the biggest bright spot in this Yankee rotation so far. Here's Giambi, two for four in the opener yesterday. Hoyt on the mound, the right-hander. Pitch to Giambi, and we're underway again. Bottom the first, six, 12 to the left. He struck him out, one away. So Giambi down on strikes, one away. And it now brings up Frank Minichino. Minichino was one for three in the opener, right-handed hitter. Hoyt on the mound, here's the pitch. And that's going to be a two. Tiny Menachino hits a drive to down the left field line off the top of the wall. Menachino will go in for two and gets in there. So Frank Menachino gets himself a little bit of a slugging. He had three home runs in, 19, in 2002. And he had himself a one-out double. So that's the fourth double in this game. And it brings up the famed Scotty Hatterberg. One for three. Struck out, hit by a pitch in the opener. He's a left-handed hitter against a righty Hoyt. Hoyt from the stretch. Here's the pitch to Hatterberg. 1-7, fly ball, shallow center. That is going to be Combs. Makes the catch, and there's two outs. Here is the right fielder, Mr. Dave Justice. The Yankee in 2001, the Yankees still owe Justice quite a bit of money, according to the Moneyball movie. So the A's kind of got a discount when they got him. He was 0 for 3 in the opener with a strikeout. Left-handed hitter against Hoyt. Hoyt from the stretch. Here's the pitch. And that's going to be a 2-10. And that's a line drive base hit for Justice. That will score Minichino from second. And we do have a 2-1 ball game. So the A's on the scoreboard. RBI for Justice as Minichino scores. 
So the Yankee lead has been cut to two to one. Here is the third baseman, Eric Chavez. Chavez two for four in the opener. Left-handed hitter, solid year for the A's in 2002. Corey from the stretch gets the sign. Here's the pitch. And that's going to be a 6-6 six, six lefty. And that's going to be a line drive down the line. That's going to be a double for Chavez. But that's hit too hard. Justin's going to have to stop at third. And the A's have second and third with two outs. So Eric Chavez with a double. The fifth double of the ball game. We're only in the bottom of the first inning. So now here's Miguel Tejada. Second and third, two outs. Tejada 0 for 4 in the opener. Hoy from the stretch gets a sign from Collins. Here's the pitch to Tejada. 5-10 is a ballpark single to a righty is only a 1. It's a 16 line drive to the shortstop. Koenig and ends the inning. One run, three hits, two left. At the end of one, we have a ball game here in Oakland. It's 2-1 to one Yanks. For the Yanks, it'll be Joe Dugan leading off. Dugan leads off for the Yanks here in the top of the second. Dugan hitting 235, three doubles, and five RBIs. So Dugan, a right-handed hitter against Hill, just a righty. The windup and delivers. That's going to be a 5-10 catch at the first X of the ball game. That is Ramon Hernandez. So let's find Hernandez's numbers here. Her Ramon Hernandez is a 2-E-3. So that should be, as they say, pretty solid. Let's roll the dice here again. It is going to be a 3. Wow. 3 on a 2 is a wild pitch or a, a weak ground ball or a, a you know, wild pitch or ground out. It's a 14, it's a 14 on a three, there's no error. So Hernandez gets up and throws him out on an easy, weak, on a weak rounder, two to three. So Dugan retired, here's the catcher, Pat Collins. Collins again sharing duties with Johnny Grabowski, hitting 250. He is 13 of 52, three doubles, a home run, and five RBIs, right-handed hitting catcher. Here's the windup and delivery from Hilgis. Hilgis on a five, nine, and that ball is deep. Is that ball fair? It is gone, it is gone. And home run Pat Collins and the Yankees lead three to one. That's Pat, that is Eric Hilgis' card. He gets hit hard in most every column. Five nine is automatic to a righty. He is an N. That ball is fair. It is gone. So Pat Collins homers, and the Yanks now lead it three to one. So now here is Cedric Durst, the 18 the last couple days. He's one for 15. He so far has no nothing with one RBI. Probably will see Ben Pasco in the third game of the series. Pasco's really overseeded a lot of his at bat so far. Durst, the left-handed hitter against Hilgis. Here's the windup and pitch. One seven ground ball to third. Easy play for Chavez. Throws him out, and you got two outs. And now here's Earl Combs, double the lead off the game and scored. Left-handed hitter. Again, Hilgis on the mound, gets a sign for Hernandez. Here's the windup and the pitch. One, two, single to left field. Two hits in the game for Combs. The Yankees have really been led the way by Combs and Musil so far in this early April. So Combs is on, runner on first and two outs. Hilgis is a plus five, wow. And then Hernandez minus two, minus two to hold. He's a plus one on Combs' his first number if he can get the lead. It'll be a 17 or less if he can roll a four and a five. And he gets the seven, so it does not get the lead. So now Mark Koenig the batter. He was not involved in that first inning party of doubles. He fly to right his first time up. Left-handed hitter Koenig against Hilgis. Hilgis from the stretch, and here's the pitch. And that's a 1-9 for Koenig, and that's a line drive base hit for Koenig. That will drive Combs all the way to third. Koenig will have to stop at first, and the Yanks have first and third with two outs. So Mark Koenig continues to hit, and it leaves Babe Ruth a shot here. Ruth doubled in a run his first time up. The Oakland Athletic bullpen's going to have to start getting up. 
Let's see who pitched in that game. I was looking at that really dis discreetly. Helgis in the actual start only gave the A's. He gave the A's six innings, eight hits, five runs all earned. Then Mike Magnati came in and he was actually credited with the loss. So we'll see how long we'll see how long they can stay with him. It is 3-1 Yanks, two outs here in the second. Yanks already have six hits in two and two-thirds. Hilgis from the stretch. Here's the pitch to Ruth. That's a five. Five struck him. Ow, he got the Bambino out. So Hilgis gets out of the second inning. One run, three hits. Home run by Collins. And the X lead three to one. So now here is Terrence Long. Terrence Long, the hitter. He was 0 for 4. Two strikeouts in the opener. Left-handed hitter against Hoyt. Hoyt with the wide up and deals. That's a 3-7. That's a fly ball shallow center. That's Combs. Comes in and makes the catch. And there's one out. Here's the catcher, Ramon Hernandez. Hernandez, so far, 1 for 4. Run scored. Again, Hoyt looks in, gets a sign from Pat Collins. Here's the wind up to Ramon Hernandez. 2-2, two, two, hit him with a pitch. So Hernandez will take first base. Again, he's a catcher, not speedy, so he will not be held. Runner on first and nobody out. And here is the tough Carlos Pena. 2 for 4, a run score, 2 RBIs, including a double and a home run in the opener. Left-handed hitter with some power. Hoyt from the stretch. Hernandez on at first. Here is the pitch. And that's going to be a 6-4 lefty. That's a drive down the right field line. That's a double. So let's see if they'll score Hernandez from first. I don't think they will. They weren't holding him. So it's going to be the center field. Oh, they may try to score him. Plus one is a 1-11. to 11. No fielding rating means it goes automatically to center. And that's Combs. Plus three. So that's a plus four to Hernandez. He's a one to 14. If you want to try to score, they're gonna try to send him. Here's a throw to the plate, not in time. A double will score him. It's now three to two. So Ramon Hernandez scores all the way from first as Earl Combs unable to get the ball in. It's now three to two Yankees. One out here in the second. Here's Jeremy Giambi. So Hoyt having a hard time here on the West Coast. Hoyt from the stretch, runner on second and one out. Hoyt from the stretch, runner on. Here's the pitch. And it's going to be a 1-6. Just missed it. Single to left field, though. And let's see. That is Musel. He's a minus five. You know they're going to have to hold him there. So he'll hold that third. And the A's continue to hit the ball here in the second inning. Wow. Both teams with 11 hits through two plus innings. Here is Frank Manichino. It is now first and third one out. Giambi is not starred, will not be held. So Manichino will have that hole between first and second hit in. Yankees will play the infield back. They'll give up the tie in this case to get a double play and get out of the inning. Hoyt from the stretch. Here's the pitch to Manichino. 5-10, that's a ballpark single on a 1. You're not going to get that. That's a line drive right at Koenig for out number 2. So again, this Oakland Coliseum does not play well the ballpark singles. That is two outs, and now here is Scotty Hatterberg. Fly the center first time up. First and third, two outs, the left-handed hitter Hatterberg. Hoyt from the stretch gets the sign. Here's the delivery. And that's going to be a 2 6. And there's why they got him. They walked him. So Hatterberg draws the walk, passes a baton, and the bases are loaded with two outs for David Justice. Single to the run his first time up. Bases loaded, athletics. Two outs here in the second. 3 2 Yankee lead. Hoyt working from the stretch. Here's the pitch. And that's going to be a 6-4 lefty home run, 1-7, grand slam for David Justice. 6-4 lefty, and that ball is gone. Grand slam, and that will be the point of weakness on, on Wade Hoyt here in the second inning. Holy cow. As the Athletics take a 6-3 lead, and now George Pipgrass has to start getting up in the Yankee bullpen since he won't be used for quite a while. 
So Chavez the batter, two outs here in the second. Let's see if Hoyt can work his way out of this. Hoyt now looks in. That was the fifth RBI in the ball game for Justice. Here's the pitch. Two, five, and that ball is hit deep to right field. One to eleven's a home run. No, Ruth is at the track. Holy cow. Chavez just missed one. But the A's answer quick with five in the second. We go to the third. It's 6-3 Oakland. So now the A's may have to play a bullpen game. I can't see them wanting to play softball with the Yankees. Eric Hill gets in his third inning of work. Can go into the fifth inning before time. So here is Gary. Gary fly to center first time up. Hill gets with the windup and the pitch. Six, nine, is a solid double to center field. Wow. So a double for Gary to lead it off. He's one for two. And now here is Bob Muso. Muso doubled and run his first time up. That was hit number seven for the Yanks just here in the third inning. Hilgis looks in. A's are gonna have to really look at their bullpen and they're gonna start right now. Who is now has to who who can come in this bullpen and give innings? So I did. I should have had probably looked at this a lot sooner because I knew there probably would be a problem with this team. The problem is, is who? They need someone to come in and give solid innings of work. They brought Mike McNatty and he's only gonna give you an he only will give you an inning, to be honest. Let's see here. 16 starts for Ted Lilly. Okay, well, he can give you three. So Ted Lilly is going to be up in the Oakland Athletic bullpen, a little lefty-righty action. He's a, he, he will be a lefty. And they don't have anybody else they can probably go with here. Can give me Just give me a second here. And let's see. I have a three. He's not bad. So Mark... And the righty, righty left the action. Mark File will be up in the bullpen along with Ted Lilly. Again, George Pipgrass is up in the Yankee bullpen if needed. Musel is up here. So here is Bob Musel. Runner on second, one out. Oakland has sent their pitching coach out there from the stretch from Hilgis. Here is the pitch. And that's a four, five. That's a fly ball right field. Whatever said worked. Right fielder comes in, makes the catch for the out number one. Right fielder for the Oakland Athletics is Dave Justice, who's had some ball games so far. One out here in the second. Oakland leading six to three. Top of the third, runner on second. Here is Tony Lazari. Five to center his first time up. Hill gets working from the stretch. Gets the sign. Here is the delivery. That's a 3-9 for Lazari, and he draws the walk, and all of a sudden the Yankees bring the tying runner to the plate. Here in the third with one out. So first and second, one out for Joe Dugan. He ground, he weakly grounded back to the, to the catcher first time up. First and second, one out from the stretch is Hilgis. Here's the pitch. And that's going to be a 3-7 for Dugan. They struck him out. So Eric Hilgis gets a huge strikeout. And now that's two outs here in the third. And it brings up Pat Collins who homered earlier. He homered the with one out in the second inning, the last inning actually. See if Collins continues the streak here. Hill gets from the stretch. First and second, two outs, here's the pitch. One, five, ground ball in the third. Easy play there for Chavez, throws him out and the Yankees will strand two. No runs, one hit, two left, two stranded. We go to the bottom of the third, six, three, Oakland. For the Athletics, Miguel Tejada, Terrence Long and Ramon Hernandez. Wade White still out there for the Yankees. He is still under fatigue, so any dots will result in single and two stars. So Tejada's up. One, he's lined, he lined his first time up. Wade trying to work his way through this. Gets a sign from Collins, and here's the pitch. That's a two, that's a seven, ground ball short. Koenig's got it, throws him out, and a big out for the Yankees. Get Tejada off the bases. Here's Terrence Long, fly to center first time up. Again, Hoyt looks in, gets the sign from Collins, and the big windup and delivery. 
five seven to a lefty, and that's a ground ball second base. That is Lazario, and that's the second X chance today. Lazario's a two twenty six. Let's go ahead and roll that, and that's a five. Oh, that's a five on a fifteen on a twenty six, and that is an Aaron Lazari. So Lazari throws that one away, unable to make the play on it, and that's a that's a quick error on Tony. That's something of these 27 Yankees. They do make their share of mistakes. And that's a one-out error. You're already down three runs. You don't need to give them extra bases. Long's on it first. A D stealer. The Yankees will give them a token hole with the right-hander Ramon Hernandez up. Hit by a pitch and scored his first time up. Hoyt from the stretch. Here's the pitch. And that's a 3-9. The ground ball to short. Easy play for Koenig. Goes Lazari back to Garrett. Double play. 6-4-3. So the A's are done. No runs, no hits, unerred. Double play means no one was left. We played three here in Oakland. It is 6-3 A's. So Moneyball leading the 27 Yankees here. The Yankees play their first ever West Coast trip since there's no expansion in 27. The Yankees never knew a California probably ever existed. Top of the fourth, 6-3 Oakland. Here is going to be Cedric Durst, followed by Earl Combs and Mark Koenig. Durst, the batter left of left-handed hitter. DH, remember DH is bat ninth here in this in this league because the 27 Yankees did not have a DH, so they play, they bat ninth. So Durst 0 for 1, ground ball to third, first time up. This is the fourth inning for Eric Hilgis. From the mound, the big right-hander, and delivers. And that's going to be a 6-3 to a lefty, fly ball right field justice. This could be a problem. We knew that A's has some deficiencies in the outfield. He is a full... E5 and right. He has a 1 to 11 chance. And nope, that's going to drop in for a base hit. And that's going to be a 9. So let's look at it and see what kind of base hit he just gave up. We knew that could be a problem. So let's give a moment here. That is a 4 on a 4. That's a double. So a double, no error. And runner on second. So Cedric Durst drops a double down the line. Justice, who has some problems with the knees, unable to make that play. So Art Howe has to really be thinking about that outfield. Runner on second, nobody out. Here's Earl Combs. Two hits and a run scored. Average up to 386. Left-handed hitter Combs. Hill gets from the stretch. Here's the pitch. That's a 1-7. And guess what? That's another base hit for Combs. He has three hits in the ball game. This one will be a run batted in as that will score Durst from second. And the Yankees have cut the lead to 6-4. to four. So another base hit for Combs. Let's see if our Howe comes out and gets him. He has that lefty-righty thing. Koenig, Ruth, Garrett coming up. Koenig does hit lefties better power-wise. And here comes Art Howe. He'll wave for the lefty. And you're gonna get you're gonna get Ted Lilly. So Ted Lilly's in the ball game. Pitching change here in Oakland with the score. Oakland six, Yankees four. We'll be right back right after this. So Ted Lilly comes in for the A's. Five and seven, three point six nine year A, sixteen starts. Has made relief appearances, 80 hits in 100, in, in 100 innings. Solid card, pitches real well against lefties. This is where you want him in there with Ruth and Gary coming up. 6-4 A's, no outs here in the fourth. So again, that will mean Hilgis will not be the pitcher of record, even though his team is ahead. Lily from the stretch now. Here is the pitch to Koenig. Koenig on a 3-7, that's a single on the 14, and that is a base hit. So single on the 14, line out 15, Koenig is on. That will send the runner to second, and the Yankees now bring the tying runners now to two on with nobody out. And here is Ruth. So do the Yankees now jump on this opportunity. Lefty, lefty matchup. Ruth's one for two, doubled in a run, and then struck out. Lily from the stretch. First in, second, nobody out. Here's the pitch. 
and that's going to be a 3-6. Gone to a lefty is solid. That's far. That is deep. Hold oh, my beer. Gone. Ruth again. Homer is against an A's left-hander, and the Yankees take a 7-6 lead. Holy cow, that lead did not last long. And Ruth has his fourth RBI of the game. And a big home run for the Bambino. Either way, 3-6 lefty or righty, that ball is gone. So now here's Gehrig. So Ted Lilly comes in and ignites the fire. So Lilly from the lineup. And here's the pitch. That's a 2. That's a 6 to a lefty. That's a single right field. So Gehrig is on. So the lefties have not been affected yet. So Yankees have run on first and nobody out. Here's Bob Musel. He is one for two. He just barely missed a home run his last time up. Willie from the stretch. Here's the pitch. And that's a one. Seven. He struck him out. I had to make sure. I forgot against a lefty. So that's the first out of the ball game. Here's Tony Lazari. He gets 0 for 1 with a walk, right-handed hitter against the lefty Lily. Lily from the stretch, here's the pitch, and that's going to be a 4-4 four, four righty. Ground ball to short, this could be 2. Tahana, I believe, is a 1. He is, he's a 1 E19. Let's see if he turns the double play on. Oh, no, he will not turn the double play. That's a 2, that's a G2, he's not going to have it. That's a 12 on a 19. There's no error. And Tahana unable to turn a double play. So that's a fielder's, that'll be a fielder's choice. Six to four. So he bobbled it momentarily. And that allowed Lazari to beat the relay throw. Let's see if that comes back and bites him. Here is Joe Dugan. So Dugan's up with two outs, a runner on first base. Dugan's 0 for 2, struck out his last time up. Yankees now lead 7 to 6, a four run fourth. Three run homer by Ruth. Lily from the from the stretch. Here's the pitch. And that's gonna be a 2-6 to a lefty. Ground ball in the third. Nice play there by third baseman for the A's, which is Chavez makes the play. Ends the inning, but the Yanks get four in the fourth. This is a wild one here on the West Coast. It's 7-6 Yankees. So now here is Carlos Pena. Wade Hoyt still out there, but remember, his dots still are effective. Let's see, where are his dots on here? So if I know I'm going to hit him, hang on one second so I know. What the what the dots do look like and how they're there. Oh yeah, so he gives him a dot on a on a five, on a five on a five six five six six on a six eight and then on a left hand side. Don't see one on the six on the left hand side. Then he gives him again on a five six and a five eight against lefties. So five. So it's a 5-6, 5-8 against a lefty, and then it is a 5-6, a 6-8 to a righty. Any of those are a single and two stars as we go to the bottom of the fourth inning. So here's Pena, doubled in a run and scored his first time up. Lefty, righty, matchup, Hoyt with the lineup and pitches. 4-6, lefty, five ball, right field. Roof's there, comes in, makes the catch, and there's one out. So now here's Jeremy Giambi, one for two, singled and, singled and scored back in that second inning. He scored on the grand slam by Justice. Hoyt with the windup, and here's the delivery. That's a 4-7. Four 4-7 seven. Four is a ground ball to short. That's going to be Koenig. Koenig for the Yankees. Let's see, he is a 2E64. Yes, he is. But let's see, we usually have to go with his highest, the high rating. I don't think there's one there. 20, he's going to make the play. A 64. A six, oh, yeah, 64 does exist. Sorry, it's 6, 9, 12, 15, 19. It's an 8. There is no 8 on the error. So if he makes the play, there was a 9, but not an 8. So Koenig. Actually, on an E64 makes the play. That's why he plays super advanced, because the errors are a little more nicer to these higher uh, century teams that make a quite a bit of errors. So two outs here in the fourth. Here is Frank Manichino. Doubled and scored, line to short. 
Floyd looks in with the big windup and big leg kick. Here's the pitch. 6-7 to a righty. And that's a single on the 14. That's a 14. He just gets it through for a base hit. So a two-out hit to Minichino. And now here's Scotty Hatterberg. He walked his last time up and scored in front of the Justice Slam. So Hatterberg now hits against Hoyt. Hoyt from the stretch. Here's the pitch. And that's going to be a 4-10 to a lefty. Fly ball center field. That's Combs. He can get to everything. Problem is, uh, he's an E15. Sometimes the glove kind of bails on him. Here we go. It's a 15. It's an 8. It's an 8 out of 15. An 8 out of 15 says he makes the catch. So nice catch there by Combs and retires the side. No runs, one hit, and one left. We played four innings of here from Oakland. It is 7-6 Yanks. So now we go to the top of the fifth inning. The Yanks will now send up the bottom part of their order. Pat Collins, Cedric Durst, and Earl Combs. Again, still Ted Lilly here in the fifth. So Collins comes up. He is homered and then ground the third. He's one for two. Lilly with the windup, and here's the pitch. That's a 3-7 versus a lefty single right field for Pat Collins. So Pat Collins is second hit of the ball game. Everyone contributes on this Yankee team. Base hit number 13 for the Yanks already. Here is Cedric Durst. Lefty, lefty matchup. Boy, he doesn't look good against lefties at all. This could be an ugly proposition. Lily from the stretch. Here's the pitch. Run, run first. Five, six, popped it straight out. That's Pena. He'll come in, calls everyone off, and make the catch for out number one. Here's Earl Combs, three for three. Boy, Combs is an amusal or both terrorizing this American League 2002 right now. He has three hits, two runs scored, average up to 392. Lefty, lefty matchup. Lily from the stretch, here's the pitch. That's a 1-5, and he's done it again. That's a line drive in that gap for a double. A double for Combs. Collins is a catcher. He's probably going to have to hold and does. And Combs has four hits through the first five innings. Unbelievable. Second and third with one out, and he'll bring up Koenig. The A's will have to bring the infield in now. It's 7-6. One out here in the fifth. So righty lefty matchup, the dangerous Ruth on deck. So far, Coney in the ball game, one for three, two for three, two hits, including a run scored. Koenig switch will bat from the right hand side against Lily. Lily from the stretch. Here's the pitch. That's a three. That's an eight. That's a single one to eight. He gets the one on the twenty. How about that? That's a base hit. And the Yanks get another one in. That will score Collins. Combs moves the third. And the Yankees lead 8-6. to six. So a big RBI for the Yanks. And it brings Murder's row up. And here's Ruth. Two for three. Four RBIs, including a huge three-run homer. Back in the fourth. So now Lily from the stretch. First and third one out. Infield again will come in. Actually, they'll stay back and get two and see if they can get out of this inning. Lily from the stretch, here's the pitch. Doesn't matter, two, nine, lefty, single to center field. That will score one more run. Combs will score, Koenig will stop at second. Yankees lead nine, six. So Ruth again, his third hit of the game. He's a triple from the cycle. Hit number 16 for the Yanks. They all of a sudden have gone up. They were down three, now they're up three. So let's see, let's see, let's see what Lily's box so far reads. Lily, an inning in the third, seven hits, four runs, all earned. Wow, that is quite a bit. He's he's two more hits away from him being on the fatigue cycle. So here's Gehrig, first and second, one out. Lily working from the stretch, and here's the pitch. And that's a 1-6. That ball is going to be deep. That's a deep drive to right field. Looks up. Gone. Gary with a three-run homer. And the Yanks have just blown this one open in the fifth. Lead it 12-6. Three-run homer for Gary. 1-6. Home run 1-10. And the Yankees lead by six. And that's going to do it. So here comes Art Howe. He'll take the ball from Lily. They'll bring in Mark File, F. 
Y-H-R-I-E, Fiery. He'll come in. He's a right-hander. And he'll replace Lily, who has gotten hit hard and often here in the Oakland Alameda Coliseum with one out here in the fifth inning. Yankees exploding, leading by six. So Mark Fiery will come in and pitch for these A's. Does not, does not bat. And now here's the dangerous Bob Musel. One for three in the ball game. Righty, righty matchup. Fiery from the windup and delivers. Three, five, double the center field. Boy, these Yankees are all over this A's staff today. That's his second double of the game. He's two for four. And now here's Lazari, who's 0 for two with a walk. Boy, that is so far 18 hits for the Yanks through four. And a third plus innings. They are on a California time days down 6 3, and all of a sudden they scored nine in the last two innings and have just jumped all over A's pitching. Lazari against Fiery. Fiery from the stretch, and here's the pitch. That's going to be a 6 7 to a righty hand. Struck him out. That's a big strikeout. Lazari unable to get on the dance floor. He is over 3 with a walk. Here's Joe Dugan. He's 0 for 3. That the only people the Yankees have not been able to get dancing so far. Runner on second, two outs. The Yankees would have batted around here. Fiery from the stretch. Here's the pitch to Dugan. 6-8. And that is a double to left field for Dugan. And that will they will bat around. Dugan has gotten on the dance floor. Musel has scored. And the Yankees now lead it by a touchdown. It's 13-6. So Dugan doubles him home. Base hit number 19 for the Yanks. And now here is Pat Collins who started this off by singling and scoring. Firing from the stretch. Runner on second, two outs. Here's the pitch. That's a one, two. Fouls out behind the plate. Hernandez is there, calls him off. And the Yankees with six runs on four, five, six, seven hits. They strand one. We have played four and a half. It is 13-6 Yanks. Holy smokes. They have had some time this year where you can see why they're called Murderer's Row. That is for sure. Wade Hoyt, again, he already, remember, he is still technically fatigued because he was down 6-3 at the end of two. But he's not trying to stretch it out and make it as far as he can here. So he'll stay at second here. And let's do that swing for my finally my ball score ball, ball score screen to catch up with itself. So now here is David Justice. So Justice the batter. You see the scoreboard. The Yanks were up 2-1 at the end of one, down 6-2, six 6-3 to, six to three at the end of two. No one scored in the third, but finally the Yankees woke up with four in the fourth, led 7-6, and then the Yankees blew it open with six in the fifth, and all of a sudden it's 13-6. But then again, let's keep, hold my beer. Never know what Oakland's going to do. Hoy has not been himself, that is for sure. So now here is Justice, Chavez and Tejada. So Justice to bat, he singled a run, grand slam in the second. Hoyt from the windup, here's the pitch. 3-12 to Justice, line drive right at Lazari, one away. Boy, he hit that right on the schnoz. One out in the fifth, and here's Chavez. Chavez the batter, one for two with a double. Line had that double back in the first. Hoyt with the windup, here's the delivery. And that's a 3-9 for Chavez, struck him out for out number two. So Hoyt, Hoyt seems to be... Getting a little bit stronger. Here's Miguel Tejada. Tejada 0 for 2. A's with seven hits. Nothing to be nothing to be drooping about. They were hit. They've been hitting the ball on Hoyt really hard. That the Yanks all of a sudden started pounding the stuffing out of A's pitching. Here's the wind. Here's the wind up by Hoyt. That's a 5-5 five, five from him. That's a single one to four. Not this time. That's a line drive to shortstop. A's go one, two, three. We played five, 13, six, New York. So now for the Yanks, it'll be again, bottom of the order, Cedric Durst, he's one for three. He'll then be followed by Earl Combs and Mark Koenig against Mark Fiery here in the sixth inning. So Durst, one for three, double and a run scored. Fiery at the windup, here's the pitch. 
four, seven versus the lefty. Struck him out. Big strikeout for Fiery. He needed that one. Again, he can go a solid three or four innings, so he could finish things off if he pitches strong. Here's Combs. Wow, four for four, up to 398 average. Three runs scored, including two doubles. So Combs steps up. Fiery looks in. Here's the pitch. And that's a two, that's an eight at the fly ball center field. That is long, finally retires Combs for the second out. He's four for five. Here's Koning. Boy, his average started to creep up. He's three for four, two runs scored, including an RBI, up to 265. Again, he'll switch around, bat lefty against fiery to righty. Fiery at the windup, and here's the pitch. That's going to be a 6-5-2, a lefty pop to second. Yanks are going to go down 1-2-3. How about that? He gets him, and the Yankees don't score in the six. Let's go to the bottom of the six. The Yankees still hold to a big 13-6 lead. So three up, three down, go to the Yanks. A nice job by Fiery there. Kind of gets him out of it. And now the Oakland Athletics bring up Long, Hernandez, and Pena, the bat here. Long 0 for 2. So long to hit. Long is 0 for 2. Again, Hoyt on the mound. Here's the windup and delivers. Four, three, that's a 4 3 lefty. Fly ball left field. That is Musel. Again, he's the one. That's nothing to worry about. But the E17 could be a big worry. That is a 13 on a 17. We hold our breaths. 13 on 17 makes a nice running catch. Oh, he almost lost that one. Again, they're not used to playing at night here in, in the 27 2002s. So again, they didn't say, hey, let's play all the games in the daytime. Nope, they say you're going to play 2002 rules. That means playing the games with these things they call lights. So one out in the six. Here is Ramon Hernandez. He's 0 for 1. Hit into a double play. Hit by pitch and scored a run. Hoyt with the windup. Here's the pitch. And that's going to be a 5 6 to Hernandez from Hoyt. And space hit. They remember, he is still tired. So 5 6 is a single with the dot. So there you go. So now, if you play a game called inside pitch, once you give up a dot hit, you're automatically removed. You know what? Yeah, you're going to do that because, you know what? If he's tired, then there should be some kind of penalty for giving up a base hit. So George Pipgrass, who's not going to use a lot, I don't believe, I'm going to take a look at, their, look at their pending rotation, see what I need to do. For the, for the Yankees, this is start number, this is game number 22 on their schedule. They're going to go Root, oh, Pipgrass does pitch in two days. So it goes Ruther, Pipgrass, Shocker, Pennick back to Hoyt. So let's see who the Yankees, do the Yankees want to go to Pipgrass here, or do they want to Ruder Shocker? You know what? The Yankees are gonna they're gonna do what they did yesterday. They're gonna bring one of their pitchers in. They don't care. 1927 baseball. So they're gonna bring in George Pipgrass. He'll come in the game. Probably see if they can get a couple outs from him. Again, this is where the danger comes in on this team. They don't have it. They don't have the, the. They don't have the fantastic bullpen. Hoyt was tired by the second inning by law, so he'll come out. So Pipgrass comes in. He does not bat. He's the second pitcher for the Yankees. Let's give you some numbers on George Pipgrass. 11 of third innings, three earned runs, seven hits, four walks, six strikeouts. He's 0 and 2. 2.38 ERA. Opponent's average is 163. He'll now pitch against Carlos Pena. Carlos Pena so far, three for six, two runs scored, three RBIs in this series. He's one for two, including a double. So runner on first and one out. Pipgrass from the stretch. Here's the pitch. That'll be a 3-8. That's a strikeout for Pena. So Pena strikes out. Nicely done for Pipgrass. It gets the big out. And it brings up Jeremy Giambi. That, that is Jason's brother. So Giambi, one for three. Singled and a run scored back in the second. <coughs> Left-handed hitter. Pipgrass, the right-handed pitcher. From the stretch, here's the pitch. That's a 2-7. That's a strikeout. And a big strikeout of Pipgrass strikes out the side. So we go to the top of the seventh. The Yankees still holding to a big 13-6 lead. 
So top of the seventh, Ruth will now come up, followed by Gehrig and Musel, lefty, lefty, righty, I mean the monster of Murder's Row, the teeth of the shark. Ruth's a triple from the cycle, he doubled and run in the first, struck out in the second, three run homer in the fourth, and single run in the fifth. Three runs scored, has five RBIs. Let's see if Ruth can find himself a triple here. Here is Fiery from the windup. Here's the pitch. That's a four, seven, eight, struck, babe out. That's the second strikeout for Ruth. So he's retired one away. Here is Lou Gehrig. So Gehrig in the ball game, three for four, average up to 368. He has a single, a double, and a homer. He's a triple from the cycle. And he has three runs batted in, including a run scored. Fiery from the strut, from the windup, here's the pitch. That's a 4-4, and that's a catch X. That's Ramon Hernandez. We've talked about him earlier. He's too bad as a defender. He's a 2-E-3. Unless you roll a 1 on the 20, you're safe. That's a 20. That's a grounder. I'm going to go ahead and call that an easy grounder 2-3. to three. So that's a nice easy out 2-3. to three. And now here is Scotty Hatterberg. So, so not Hatterberg, but wrong lineup, Mike. Let's try that one again. Let's reverse my footing and get it out of my mouth. Here's Bob Musel. He's one for four. He has two hits in the ball game, including a run scored in the fifth. Right-handed hitter against Fiery, who has taped this Yankee team down. Here's the windup and pitch. Three, six, a single for Bob Musel. He continues to hit the ball hard. They're going to have three hitters near 400 at the end of April. So Musel is now three, three for five. Now here's Lazari. Boy, he's 0 for 3 in a walk. He's the only Yankee not to enter the dance party. So again, fiery from the stretch. Here's the pitch. And that's a 2, 4, no, ground ball to short. Again, he doesn't come in in the dance party. Thrown out by Tejana, and that retires the side. No runs, one hit, one left. We go to the bottom of the seventh here in Oakland. It's 13-6 Yanks. So for the A's, Frank Menachino, Scotty Hatterberg, and David Justice. The Yankees, 13 runs on, 20 hits and an error, while the A's, 6 runs on, 8 hits. So here's Menachino. Menachino's 2 for 3, including a double and a run scored. Again, George Pipgrass on the mound here for the Yanks. Here's the windup and deals, 4-4. Four, four. And that's Menachino, 4-4 four, four righty, fly ball center field. Again, that's Combs. Again, the Yankees are playing with danger. 1-E-15. Let's see if he's able to make the play. He's a 1. So it takes him all the way back to the track. Let's see if he... Let's see. It's going to be an F-1. A 9 on a 15 is not an error. Oh, he takes him right to the edge of the track. A big F-8. Medicino hit a big boy swing right there, but Combs ran it down. Here's Hatterberg. Hatterberg is 0 for 2 of the walk and scored a run. Left-handed hitter. Pipgrass, wind up and delivers. He's working fast. 3, 6, light drive down the line. Now I'll hit the line. I'll go all the way to the wall. That is past the bullpens down there on the right-hand side. Hatterberg will coast into a double, and the A's got a runner on. First in the ball game for Hatterberg. Ninth for the Athletics. And here's Dave Justice. Justice, two for three, five RBIs, including a grand slam in the second. Remember that a long time ago, folks. Pet grass from the stretch. Runner on second, one out, and here's the pitch. Four, ten, and that's a strikeout for Pet grass. Boy, he's done a nice job coming in for Wade Hoy. So now here is Eric Chavez. So Chavez comes in, one for three with a double. Doubled back in the first inning. So Chavez steps on, runner on second, pip grass from the stretch. Here's the pitch, and that's going to be a 6-8 lefty ground ball to short. That, of course, is Koenig. We talked about him before, too. Koenig's a 264. Let's see if he's able to make the play. That is an 11 on a 64. So 11 on a 64 says, no, a 12 is an error, and 18 will come up with it. Nice play by Koenig, ends the inning. No runs, one hit, a double is left stranded at second. We go to the eighth, Yankees lead by seven. So nice job by George Pipgrass. I wonder if they'll 
end up taking him out and putting somebody else in this game. And they don't got a lot of good leverage guys they do like. That's the problem. We could see, we'll see more again, see if he can get back on that horse after struggling so mightily here in the first game. And and now here, and I mean, as I say, we'll see more pitched that last game against Toronto where he really got hit hard. So here is Dugan. He's one for four. Finally got on the dance card himself with that double in the fifth inning. So again, Fiery working into the fifth in into the eighth inning here. It's 13-6 New York. Fiery with the wind up in. Here's the pitch. 4-3 to a righty. That's a ballpark single on a one. That's a line drive to the shortstop, and he is retired. So Dugan retired. Here is Pat Collins. He's had a pretty good game for himself. He, he plays every other day because of Grabowski. He has two runs scored, including a home run he had back in the second inning. Fiery with the big wind up, and here is the delivery. 4-10 to a righty, and that's a ballpark single. That's a 15. You know what that is? That is an out here in Oakland. Two outs, singles on only a one. Here is Cedric Durst. Durst is one for four, double the run scored back in the fourth. Lefty, righty matchup here in the eighth. Fiery at the big windup and deals. Three, six, ground ball down the first. That's an easy play there for the first baseman Hackenberg. I say Pena, and that's it, and retires aside. Yankees go three up, three down in the eighth. Let's go to the bottom of the eighth. The A still down by seven, 13 to six. Let's take a look at some statistics if you want. Let's take a look and see what people has done so far in the pitching matchup. Fiery has gone three and two-thirds, three hits, one run was earned, so he's been quite effective so far. He can go into third, so technically he is in his point of weakness. Pitgrass has gone an inning in two-thirds, one hit, and three strikeouts. So he's gone six, seven. We are now in the eighth, making sure those stats line up. And let's see, three and two-thirds, five and two-thirds, seven, yet yeah, into the eight. Hopefully those numbers will match up correctly when we're all done. So now let's go to the bottom of the eighth inning for the A's. Time running out for the Athletics game two of this series. Tejada, Long, and Hernandez for the A's. So Pipgrass stays out there. At least he'll try to get through the two innings here. Pipgrass looks in with the windup, and here's the pitch. 5-3, righty, ground ball the first. Garrett's got it. He tells Pipgrass he's got himself. Hold on to your beer and retires the side. So Tejada retired, three unassisted. And now here is Terrence Long. He's 0 for 3. He's with nine hits in the ball game. It seems like they have, since they hit that grand slam, they have really tailed off. Pipgrass, the big, big right-hander, and the big lineup and the pitch. 1-4 for Terrence Long. That is a base hit center field. So Terrence Long gets his first hit of the ball game. That's double figures and hits for the A's. They got 10. And here's Ramon Hernandez. He's 1 for 2, including a hit back pitch, scored a run, and single back in the 6. So Pipgrass working from the stretch. Runner on first, one out. From the stretch, here's the pitch. That's a 3-8 for Hernandez. He popped it straight up. Koenig is there. Calls off Lazari and makes the play. Two outs. Here's Carlos Pena. So Carlos Pena up with two outs. Yankees have come into Oakland here and have played really well. They, have, they pulled off that big win in game one of the series. And now here in game two, trailing six to three at the end of two. Thought the Yankees came in the West Coast trip kind of dazed and confused. But then the Yankee bats woke up like they just got out of the bar. Four in the fourth, six in the fifth, and now they're up 13-6. So here is Pena, one for three with a double and a run batted in. Run on first, two outs, pit grass from the stretch. Here's a pitch to Pena. Three, two, and he hit him with a pitch inside. Oh, that might have been a purpose pitch. So that's a hit by pitch for the Oakland Athletics. And they put the runner on. So two on and two out. And now the Athletics got a little bit of something going. It brings the top of the order for Jeremy Giambi. He's one for four, three for eight in the series. And now let's see what George Pipgrass does or the A's do with Giambi. A little bit early to see a, probably a pinch hitter here, but he is a left fielder. This could be the time you might want to see. We're in the eight, we're in the, technically we're in the eighth inning, so now all, all bets are off. You can bat whoever you want to get a pinch hitter. So you know what, they may go 
to the one big bat here, and that might be Jeremy Dye unless they unless they wait and trying to get another man on. They go could go to former Yankee Randy Velarde, but now he is not too good. You know what? We're gonna go with Ray Durham. So Ray Durham will bat. Problem with that is unless you keep Durham in place second base, he's gonna waste his bat. So we'll see if Durham gets on, he'll probably stay in place second. It'll probably bat for Minichino. So now two on and two out. Durham the hitter. Not sure why he's not in the lineup unless he came over in a trade. Hit 289, 15 homers, 70 RBIs. So again, here's Durham. Two on, two outs. From the stretch is Pipgrass. Here's the pitch. That's a five. That's a six to a righty and struck Durham out. Got him. So pinch hitter for have to put him in the ball game. So Mark, so Ray Durham is pinch is coming in as a pinch hitter. And struck him out. So you know what? It, these the A's are gonna do a little are gonna do a little National League baseball, I think. They're probably gonna do a switch on a double switcheroo. So let's do a double switcheroo here as the as the Yanks will bat here in the top of the ninth inning. So let's go ahead and do a little change defense here. Let's see who the who the A's will bring in defensively. You know what? Probably the same guy we did the last time here. Let's see where is probably bring probably bring back in the game probably Eric Burns from the Springfield from the, from the Springfield site. There's Ellis and there is Eric Burns. So Eric Burns will come in the game. So Eric Burns will come in the game and stay in left field. And then to keep Ray Durham's bat in the lineup, we will put at second base, we'll, we'll keep Durham at second, replacing uh, Minichino. So, but that's going to change the lineup a little bit. So we'll tell you how that's going to work. Let's see if they brings up the lineup screen so I can go ahead and do that. It will. So Ray Durham stays in the game in the leadoff spot and play and stays at second base. And then in the second spot, it's going to be Eric Burns, and he will stay in the game and play left field. So there you go. Burns is in there, and he will lead off the bottom of the ninth for the Athletics. So Durham is there. Minichino will also come out of the game. And Eric, and Eric Burns will lead off the bottom of the ninth. So here we go, top of the ninth. The Yankees lead by 7, 13, 6, out hitting the A's 20 to 10. Mark Fiery stays out there and finishes it for the A's, trying to at least get him out of this, but he'll pitch to the meat of the order. Combs, who is four for five. Left-handed hitter Combs, three runs scored, two doubles. Lefty righty matchup. Fiery with the lineup in here is delivery. Two, seven, single for Combs. Again, a five hit attack for the Yankee center fielder. And he just continues to rake another hit. And now here's Koenig. Koenig is three for five. Now hitting 262. Koenig will bat again lefty again, fiery again from the stretch. Again, that's one hit toward the point of weakness. Here's the pitch. And that's a 4-6 to a lefty. Ground ball to first. He'll get the fielder's choice. He goes to short, and he gets out number one. So gets out, combs that short. Koenig really beats the relay. And now here is Babe Ruth. Got two guys going for the cycle in the same inning, both needing triples. Ruth is three for five. On Ruth's card, he can get a triple on a 2-8 rolling of a six. And on Fiery's card, pretty darn good against lefties. So you don't want to, you want to depend on getting a hit on, on Fiery's card. From the stretch, here he goes. Here's the pitch. And that's a 2-4. That's a fly ball that deep center. Terrence Long is there. Makes the catch. And a 2-5 would have been out of here. Ooh, we just missed it. And Ruth knew it. There's two outs. And here is Garrick. He's a triple from the old cycle. Ruth, he's done it the other way. He's fly to center. He's doubled, singled, and hit a three-run homer and then grounded weakly back to the catcher. So he's three for five. Again, Gehrig's triple chances are definitely worth it. 1-8 is a triple, 1-16. to 16. 
So let's see if we can roll. That's a pretty good odds number. One eight, then it's a triple. Let's see if Fiery can get one in here. From the stretch, runner on first and two outs. The pitch to Garrett. One eight, there it is. Drive down the right field line. It's off the top of the wall. Gary is gonna go for two. He's gonna go for three. He stays there and he has the cycle. Blue Gehring has hit for the cycle. The Yankees lead 14 to 6. Holy cow, a cycle here on Oakland Alameda Coliseum. Not sure even Gehring knows what a cycle is, but he's got it. He is 4 for 6, a double in the 3rd, a single in the 4th, a 3-run homer in the 5th, and then he triples here in the 10th. So now here is Musel, 14-6 Yanks, runner on third and two outs. That is only the second hit of the inning, fiery from the stretch. Pitch to Musel, and that's going to be a 6-5 ground ball to third. Picked up by Chavez, throws him out, and ends the inning. Yankees two run, they get a run on two hits. We go to the bottom of the ninth. It is 14-6 New York as we got a psycho here in Oakland. Wow, 14 to 6. So, bottom of the sixth inning, 14 to 6. Let's make sure we, I don't know why they didn't show, give me a run in the ninth inning. That didn't make sense. But let's, let's get back here. And now it will be Burns followed by Hatterberg and Justice. We get George Pipgrass will stay in, I believe. Or they're going to go, or they're going to go into a different route. They could go to my, like Miles Thomas. A guy I don't like to go to. Or we go, you know what? We'll go to Bob Shockey. Shockey's definitely not good against against left against righties. He's more of a reverse split guy. So Shockey will come in. New opposing pitcher for the Yankees. It's an eight-run lead, and it's gonna be Mr. Bob Shockey. Is not that, and we'll give you some numbers on Mr. Shockey. Let's so far give you let's give you the line scores here too, in case we don't do it at the end of the ball game. So far, uh, Hilgis went two innings, six hits, three runs, three earned. Actually, he, for, for Hilgis wasn't too bad, one walk and two strikeouts. Lily an inning in the third just got mauled. Eight hits, seven runs, all earned. Fiery went went four and two thirds, five hits, two runs, two earned. He did exactly what they wanted him to do. Six and a third plus a seven isn't. Plus, is, and yeah, yep, this would be the, I think, no, all the other, they should have, they should have nine innings there. Three, it should be eight, yeah. I don't know why ball score does that. That is really weird. So, seven, eight, and have eight innings for the Yanks. That makes sense. Hoyt went five and a third, eight hits, six runs, six earned, one walk, two strikeouts. Pipgrass, two and two thirds, two hits. And then Bob Shockey comes in. Shockey will go here. Shockey has gone 14 and two thirds, given up eight earned runs, 17 hits, six walks, 14 strikeouts. He's 0 and 1, ERA 4.91. So this is a good outing for Shockey to come in and hopefully, you know, fine tune his stuff as they'll need him sometime during the year. So Burns, the batter, he is so far looking for his first to bat. Came in defensively in game one of this series. Shockey with the windup. Here's the pitch. That's going to be a 6-8, and that's a single to center field. So Burns starts it off with a single. Don't doubt what the, what the Oakland Athletics can do. Down by eight, lead off base runner. Here's Scotty Hatterberg. He's one for three with a double. So now Shockey from the stretch. Here's the pitch. To Hattenberg, 5-3, lefty, fly ball left field. This is where the Yanks could give some runs back. Again, that is Mr. Musel. He's a 1-E-17. Nothing's going to drop in front of him. That's a 14. That's a 10. That's a 10 on a 17. 10 on a 17. It makes the catch. One away. So one away as he's retired. So Hatterberg is done, and here's Justice. Justice, boy, he's having such a great game. He's looking like player of the game there so far early in this game. And then the Yankees abrupted for a big inning. Justice so far, two for four, home run, five RBIs. Justice, shocky from the stretch. Run, run first and one out. Here's the pitch. Three, five for Justice. Ground ball to shore. Picked up by that is going to be Koenig. Two, Lazari. 
the first double play. 6-4-3, ball game over. The 1927 Yankees win this game by the score of 14-6. There's your final score. Let's give you some recaps and then give you the final numbers. All right, let's give you these final numbers. A double play by Justice ends it. And here we go. Winning pitcher was Wade Hoyt. He was in there long enough to get the win. No saves in the ball game. Ted Lilly came in. He will get, I believe he will get this. Oh, wait a minute. We may have to consult the... Hang on, folks. Let's look at the box score here. And we can kind of take a look at what we need here. So... Hildness went two innings, six only. Oh, he only gave up 30 runs. So, yeah, he is definitely off the hook there. I didn't want to make any mistakes there. So, again, winning pitcher does go to Wade Hoyt. No save. Losing pitcher is going to be Ted Lilly. Uh, this game was going to be played on Wednesday, the 24th of April, 2002. Go ahead and save that. And now let's go ahead and give you some box scores for what everyone did, I mean, they were, everyone was really, even the A's, were hitting their hitting shoes today, but the Yankees able to, uh, able to erupt with those two big innings, including a four-run fourth and a six-run fifth. Let's go ahead and give you the box scores. Here we go. Here's the box scores. You're going to have them. So, the Yankees came up. Came up today, they were 22 of 49, 14 runs scored, 14 RBIs, one walk, six strikeouts. Big ball game, big boppers, Earl Combs, five for six, three runs scored in RBI. He is at an even 400 for his average. Koning, three for six, three runs scored. Ruth, three for six, three runs scored, five RBIs. Gehrig, four for six, a run scored, and he also had four RBIs and hit for the cycle. Lazari uh, Muso went three for six on run score. He's up to 383. Tony Lazari did not enter the dance floor. 0 for 4. He had a walk. Dugan, 1 for 5 in an RBI. Collins, 2 for 5, 2 runs scored, including a home run. Durst was 1 for 5 and a run scored. The A's lost their second game here against the Yankees. One official 11 of 37, 6 runs scored. Giambi, 1 for 4. Menachino, 2 for 4, runs scored. Burns was 1 for 1. Hatterberg, 1 for 4, runs scored and run bad. And then Justice, 2 for 5, runs scored in 5 of the RBIs. Chavez, 1 for 4. Tejada, 0 for 4 has not got a base hit in the series. Terrence Long, 1 for 4. Hernandez, 1 for 3, run scored. Pena, 1 for 3, and an RBI, and a run scored. Again, the Yankees were trailing 6 to 3 at the end of two innings, and the Yankees erupted for 4 in the 5th, 4 in the 4th, and 6 in the 5th, and then led 13 6, and then went away winning it. 14 runs on 22 hits and 1 error, while the A's, 6 runs on 11 hits. Winning pitcher was Hoyt. Losing pitcher was Ted Lilly in relief. Thank you, folks. This has been a presentation of Sports Time Machines 1927-2002 Alternate Universe for the Yankees of 1927. They win a big one here. That's going to be another win in the standings. Remember, the, what I'm doing is I'm using a, another fast play results from another company doing the results for the other teams. So the Yankees are now 14-8 and eight so far, while the A's are 0-2, but they're 10-11 and 11 in the season. Thank you, folks. Have another good night. We'll talk to you again. See you later. This, again, final score is Yankees 14 and the A's 6.